Hello again. Today I'm going to show you how to save your um, Pisco animation in a couple of different ways. The first way is just to save to your online gallery. This is the little file icon is old school like floppy disk. Make sure you title it what you want to title description save to your online gallery. You could have it be public. You could save it in browser. Um, you could save as a Pisco file. So that way you can open it back up in this particular web app. Um, another option is uh, to export it. <clears throat> when I export it, I make sure to take and make the scale or size of it as big as possible. Um, otherwise, if you notice how small it is, it's only 32 by 32 squares or pixels. So you want it up high, as high as you can go. And then you select download. Before you download, though, make sure that you select loop repeatedly. Otherwise, it'll only loop once. And I'm going to select download here. And you'll notice in the bottom, it takes a little bit of time to process this, depending on how many um, actual uh, cells you have or slides. And when it is all done, it'll show 100%. And then, then you can upload that to um, any site that you want to. Another option that we're going to use is a PNG, which is uh, an image file type. And here you can download all of the frames. It'll show you five columns, six rows. It gives you a size of 5120 by 6144 pixels. Um, you could download it's this file type. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not familiar with that. Now this is done. Close this out. Um, you could zip it. Split by layers. Um, one PNG for each frame. Um, you can download just this one particular image as a, um, a, a picture file as well. So if I select download, it downloaded that particular image. It is a small file, but still gives you the option to have just one image, one frame. And that is how you save and export your um, Pisco animations. Hope that helps.